Domo, Konnichiwa, Johnny Klugan and this. My Japanese should be a little bit better since I watched so much anime, but... Oh, yeah, 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 you... Yeah, we talked about it. About, uh, like, Hunter Hunter, right? I watched everything. I've seen, like, a lot, a lot of anime. Like a Dragon Ball? Yeah. Um, let's say Attack on Titan, Seven Deadly Sins, stuff like that. I watched all of One Piece. <laughs> Oh yeah, One Piece is, they're still going, I cannot believe it. I mean, they started when I was like 10 or 9 years old and they're still going on. So, amazing. It's a long show, it's crazy. It's a long story, man. <laughs> crazy. Alright, so, yeah, I was surprised, you know, some folks are they're saying like some stuff I, I don't even know. Like, you are in uh, NBA 2K's Dunk Court and uh, you are in it, right? Yeah, I have uh, my Dunk package in 2K. Yeah, that's what someone told I was like, oh, I didn't know that. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's sweet. I don't even play 2K, okay? but... <laughs> yeah, me neither, that's why. Alright, so, first question. We know we come up with a, a lot of new ideas, I mean, new dunks. So, when you come up with that kind of new dunks, like, how you come up with it? What is the trigger? Yes, yeah, so one of the ways, so the easiest way is just to think of combinations, right? So that's the easiest way. But to come up with something really creative, different, that stuff is, yeah, I almost look like I'm doing like a dance with a ball, like where I'm trying to accidentally do like weird movements, like like I'm trying to force accidents because to do a new movement is, is difficult. You have to force yourself to move in ways that you're not used to. And so anyways, it, it looks kind of like a dance. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. You try, you try to think like, what if I do this? What if I do this? I don't know. It's difficult, but like I said, the easiest way is to do combinations. So let's say uh, you're like, I don't think off the side of the backboard has been done too much. So you're like, okay, so off the side of the backboard, kind of back, off the side of the backboard, Jay Rich, off the side of the backboard, Scorpion, off the side of the backboard, Double Elbow, off the side of the backboard, Over Somebody, off the side of the backboard, Windmill Over Somebody, and you just do combinations, right? And I, my brain, I thought about dunking so much that it just like, it's just like a real, like, whereas off the side of the backboard, Windmill, Over Somebody, this, you know, so it's just like, and it keeps trying new. I, I keep trying, trying new ideas. Like I've been done with that. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. Pressure, like one by one. Yeah, one by one. So you start with this, and then the combination with that, and then uh, yeah, or like a Dwight Howard. What what do you do with a Dwight Howard tap? Dwight Howard tap, and then a windmill, or maybe you can do a windmill first, and then a Dwight Howard tap. You know, so you just uh -huh. combine, keep combining. Yeah. I see. I see. Well, That's my cool. favorite one is one is a completely new idea. So like Lost and Found to me was really cool because it's completely new. It's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not like Nation. Nobody done that before. How many new dunks have you done before? You know, uh, I've been trying to count, but I've gone to like, I know I got over 130. The thing is, I don't always post all of them because they're not always cool. You know, some of them are not that cool. So it's just like, it's just very technical, like a very like, it doesn't look flashy, doesn't look cool. So I'm just like, eh, whatever. I just don't post. It's not worth me posting. So there's a lot of little things like that. I see. I see. Okay. This is a very basic question. How tall are you? Six one and almost a half without shoes. Without shoes. Yeah. Okay. Like, how tall were you when you, when you made your first time? Six feet. Yeah. When I was sixteen. That was twelve years ago. Twelve years ago. Oh, 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 oh. It's been a while. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Okay. All right, so here's a, a found a question regarding the lost and found dunk, right? What kind of practice have you done in order to complete the? So that dunk I was trying to do, I tried for a whole dunk session and I kept missing, I couldn't do it. And then uh, I was close, but didn't get it. So I'm just gonna give you a little story with it. So uh, Nils from Food Mixtape, he wasn't in Canada. And then he told me, he's like, uh, he was working at the NBA. He's like, if I come to Canada just for one day, if I drive up there, like I think it was like 15 hours just to drive for me uh, from the States, uh, are you gonna be able to make that dunk? I was like, yes. In that meantime, I was doing a lot of drills. So a lot of stuff where like, I'm throwing the ball behind the back off the wall and just trying to practice the team when I'm throwing the ball, right? Because that, that's the big problem is throwing, is aiming and controlling how hard you're throwing the ball so they can throw it perfectly in front of the rim. So I did a lot of drills, like focusing around that. I try to make up drills for that, right? So I'd have to stand up and show you that like, what drills I, I did, but uh, I'm sure I'll do a video on it at some point. How long have you like, uh, practiced for? Uh, I would do it every day for like an hour during that time. When he asked me, I said, yes, I can do it. I did it every day for an hour for like probably two weeks. And then uh, just so that whenever he did come, I would be ready for it. And then I hit it within like 15 minutes when he got there. Okay, I see, I see. Pretty good, yeah. And you got it, so, you know. Yeah, I got it, so it's all matters.
now it's easy for you to make or it's still kind of you know? it's still very hard to make it's just uh there's a, always going to be a, a portion of it that's luck i practice only the lost and found for the next three years and no other dump but i don't want to do that i want to do new dumps so. yeah 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 i see, I see. Mm. Okay, here's an interesting question. Have you ever thought about going to uh, NBA? Maybe when I was a kid, but then when I found out that professional dunking was a thing, where people just dunk just to dunk and not play basketball. When was that that you noticed about professional dunking? Um, I was 15. That's when I was already dunking like all the time, like just on like eight feet, nine feet, just trying to improve. But then when I found, saw Team Flight Brothers and like uh, T Dub and Arab there, I was I went crazy. I was dunking every day for three, four hours a day. And so I wouldn't even want to play in the NBA. I love dunking so much more. You know, like dunking to me is the funnest thing in the world. And uh, I love basketball. I always love playing basketball, and I can't wait to start playing again. But uh, yeah, right now it's all dunking. It's all done, guys. Okay, uh, do you get a lot of injuries from the dunking practice? And then uh, what do you do for your best to prevent uh, from injuries? Okay, so my major problem has been just my knee, like, you know, jumper's knee. So that took me out of dunking. That's why I wasn't posting much for like about a year and a half, where I, you know, because I, I was dealing with that, I was too scared to mess it up more. Anyways, over time I learned the right things to do and I met some of the best people in the world for, for treating it. Um, actually, when I went to Australia, with oh. uh, uh, the best person in the world is in Australia. So it's, her name is Jill Cook. So J-I-L-L-C-O-O-K. And uh, hmm. yeah, just look her up and look up any podcast that she, she's in and like her advice that she gives. And it's, it's the best out there. So it's, Specifically for me, I had to strengthen my soleus, my calf, and then uh, do slow, heavy resistance with um, single leg extension and then single leg extension isos. And that's mostly the gist of it. And then some other stuff that I do that's kind of hard to explain, but yeah. yeah. All right, uh, next question. So just simple question. How much is your vertical jumping right now? Oh, I only tested it one time. And when I tested it at a dunk camp, I wasn't, you know, I, I jumped at the wrong place. I was reaching like over here instead of straight up. Oh, yeah. So I'm about 50. And I'm sure, and I've jumped higher than that before. So, but not by much, not much. So, so maybe 50, few inches, 55? <laughs> no, no, I'd say, I'd say max like 51, 51 and a half if I want to get crazy. But okay, around there, huh? All right, all right. Next question Do you think is there anyone who can do the three point? dunk, you know, jumping off the slip on line and then dunk, you know, in the future. Is it possible, you think? I think it's possible, but I think uh, it'll have to be somebody very, very tall who obviously is a genetic freak and who works hard and that that's what their goal is, only dunking. Because like usually people who are that tall and that much of athletic freaks, they want to play basketball. They want to go to the NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want to be professional dunkers. Right. And playing a lot of basketball is, you know, that'll increase your slow twitch and decrease your fast twitch, so it'll make you jump lower. Yeah. So it's just like we we might not see it ever, but is it possible? I think so. Like if you were to take somebody like uh, Giannis or even Zach Levine and just make them train only to jump on the three point line for like years since like they were little, then and they don't play basketball, then yeah, sure. But is that gonna happen? I don't know. All right, I see. Awesome. Um. So who do you think is the best NBA dunker ever, only for NBA? It's hard to not say Vince Carter. I think Vince Carter, was, I think if Vince Carter was around nowadays and saw what everybody else was doing, he would do all with no problem. The thing about Vince Carter is he also was able to pound the ball mid-air. Like that's why his reverse 360 windmill looks so good because he lets go of the ball and only palms it. And it's like nobody else does that, you know? So he had amazing control of the ball, had long arms, he can jump really high, and his style is the best of anybody. So all those things combined is hard to beat. Yeah. So that's number one. So if you can mention number two and number three, who do you say? Oh shit. Uh, best in the NBA. I don't know. I might end up four. <laughs> I don't know in what order, but probably be Aaron Gordon, Zach would be Derek Jones, James White. Even though he didn't do well in the NBA dunk contest, uh, he was in there a bit earlier. He was in the NBA earlier, and he was amazing at the time. He just didn't get a shot. But uh, yeah, so those would be my my picks. I see, I see. Okay. So that was the NBA dunker. What about the professional dunker all the time? Besides you? 
to me, it's T Dub. But it's just because he's my favorite. You know, like his style is amazing. He jumps so high. And the way he does his dunks are crazy. But Ab there was also amazing. Yeah, I'm going to stick with those two. Right on. Um, I told you about this, but uh, if we can make it possible, do you want to come to Japan and do some dunk event one day? Oh my god, yes, absolutely. That'd be cool, huh? Yeah, I went I went there one time to use an Amaya and uh, that was amazing. And I went to Tokyo for a couple of days. My three favorite countries that I've been to, and I've been to like 30 countries, are Japan, Portugal, and Australia. So like, I, I would love to go to Japan again. When did you go to Japan though? What year? Um, 2017, I think. You had any Japanese food over there? We ended up having some curry, decent, but we didn't. Have, I didn't explore too much with food. But uh, I'll have to try to explore more next time. <laughs> yeah, I went to, to Japan with FIBA, FIBA three on three. With FIBA, okay, 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 I see. Yeah. Uh, do you know in uh, 2016 NBA dunk contest that was a uh, between the Zach Rabin and Aaron Gordon, right? Zach Rabin won it, but uh, for you personally, who do you think was the better in the contest? I think they're honestly both really good. It's hard to pick because, I don't know, maybe, like some people say, like, way Aaron Gordon should have won. I don't know about that. I think it was just very close. I think the when Aaron Gordon did the 360 scoop out of the hand with the guy spinning, he got all 10, which is right. And then Zach Levine did the 360 scoop right after, and he got all 10s. I'm like, but he did it in a less impressive way right after, so he should have got nines. So it should have never went to overtime. So Aaron Gordon should have won. But after that, you know, Zach Levine taking off that far and doing those dumps is really impressive. But uh, I don't know, they were both really great. Maybe uh, Aaron Gordon by a little bit. With all those dunks, you know, that they made on that year, 2016, which dunk was your favorite, the most favorite? I mean, yeah, probably just the under both legs over. It's really cool, like, uh, especially because that's the dunk, you know, I see pro only professional dunks do. I've never seen an NBA guy even attempt that. So when I saw that, it's like, dang, like, they're watching us, you know? They're watching the pro dunkers, like, that's just darling dunk. So that was really cool to see. I, yeah, I was going crazy when I was watching that contest. Yeah, me too, man, everyone. All dunkers are good. <laughs> Um, do you think you can redo all those dunks performed in 2016? So I'd be able to, I, I already did a video redoing all of uh, Aaron Gordon's dunks. Um, oh, I didn't know that. On two, for 2016? Yeah, yeah and I did them all but in jeans and then, uh, but I'm not a one foot jumper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe so I can't, I can't do one can. all of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is probably good, um, although the pizza line one would be really hard to do. But okay. um, yeah, Chase can definitely do it if he wants to. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Um, you have a crazy body call. Do you think you had a body call naturally, or you got a those body call with the training, you know, with your efforts? Just training, man. Just training. Even as, as a kid, I was trying to jump all the time, and my dad was a personal trainer. And he's a okay. very, very good personal trainer. So okay. I grew up knowing how to train since I was very, very young. So, I've, you know, I've been training only to jump higher for the past, like, 15 years. 15 years, and that's how long it took to jump as high as I do now. Obviously, my genetics aren't bad. I obviously don't have bad genetics, but I, I think don't think my genetics are much more than average. I don't think so. Okay. Um, is your nickname is Mission Impossible, right? How did you come up with a nickname, Mission Impossible? So I was at uh, Rucker Park, MC Hannibal. He gives a lot of like famous NBA guys or basketball players, like or street ballers, their nickname. Oh. And gave me like four nicknames that day, and that was the one that Mission Impossible was the one that stuck because it makes sense, you know. My mission is to do impossible dunks all the time. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, he stuck with. He called me Bionic Man. He called me Air Canada. He called me something else, and then he called me Mission Impossible. I was, we were like, ah, oh, Mission Impossible is kind of cool. Sounds cool. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so and it was at Rucker Park too, like it's a legendary basketball court, so it's just like it was really cool. That's the ones in New York, right? Yeah, yeah, in Harlem. Um, oh, here you go. When you do a elbow dunk, the honey dip, is your armpit doesn't hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Um, just because I did it so much, <laughs> you, got, you got used to it. Well, sometimes it hurts. Like, the, so if I if I jump and then right at the peak of my jump i put in my elbow right away it doesn't hurt but if i jump get really high and then come down on it then that'll hurt oh, um, i see 
Yeah, or sometimes if I try and do an armpit dunk, then I mess up and I hit my bicep instead. So I don't know if you could see Braid. Uh, uh, damn. Yeah, but anyways, then this one too, I have like a little dent right here. That's not normal. So I have two dents in my biceps from trying to put my arm in the ref. It's so stupid. But Was it painful when that happened? Like, not super painful, but like a little bit. But not nothing too crazy. But yeah, elbow, elbow dunks or even just dunking doesn't hurt my arm too much anymore. You get used to it. Okay. I see. Um, you're like Hunter Hunter, right? Yeah. Who is your most favorite character in the comic? Um, mine was always Gon. Yeah, Isaka just because he's like a psycho. But yeah, Gon. Gon to me is basically like a, a psychopath. And for some reason, I like psychopaths. Like I think Michael Jordan's a psychopath. Oh yeah. You know, like Michael Jordan. Like if you want to be that like competitive, like you know, you basically have to be a psycho to do that much work or to put in that much effort. And Gon, when he snaps, you know, like with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you I too, mean, if you Oh yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So besides the Hunter Hunter, what is your favorite Japanese comics? Probably Attack on Titan. I like Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins. I might not know that. I, I look it up. Yeah, look it up. It's really good. And then I'm watching Re Zero right now. That one's decent. Tokyo Ghoul started off good. Okay. And then yeah. Uh, you read the One Piece too, right? I don't love One Piece. I like I like it. Like it's just it's too long. There's too much of nothing that happens. But it's uh the storyline is amazing. But, yeah. yeah. Do you know the comics called uh, Slam Dunk? <laughs> I never watched it. No. You know, okay, it's a basketball comic. So if you have a chance, you know. I should check it out. Yeah, yeah. I always forget about that. I need to try and watch it. And the same writers write a different story called The Vagabond, which is a samurai story, which is very good too. So those two, if you have a chance, oh, yeah. Yeah. Vagabond and Samdang. Yeah, I'll check them both out for sure. Stories. All right, here you go. Uh, he's uh, 10 years old, so he doesn't have access to weight training equipment. So what can he do for his best to increase his body core? So, I mean, the number one thing to jump higher is always just to jump, you know, to, and it's not just to do a lot of, like, small jumps, it's to do one jump at 100%, and then, you know, take two minutes, and then you jump again. Basically, that's how I do a dunk session. You teach your body to use all of its energy for one jump, for one max effort, and that way you teach your body to use more and more of your muscle fibers. But if you want to do more than just jumping and like actually strengthening like your legs then you have to look into a lot of single leg stuff oh, yeah. where that basically make exercises harder for you so um you know if you can learn to do assisted pistol squats and then slowly increase that or if you do the what's it called it's called reverse step up the step up where the foot comes in front uh i like that one a lot and you can progress to getting really low or you can just do so where you just sit down on, on a bench and then you step up again with just some holding some kind of weight you know you can hold like a water bottles or whatever it doesn't matter to you. but yeah pretty much that and then you can start doing plyometrics with it you know okay yeah. what is your pr for back squat and a deadlifting uh deadlift was 505 pounds Oh yeah, I want to try my maxing out squats, but I never, I never tried. I did 345 on squat, but I think I could have done. I think I could do 365, but I never tried. Okay. Is there any dunker who you think is rival in a professional dunking industry? I guess, but I don't really think about it. Like I don't really think about the other dunkers very much. I just think about myself because there's no point to me. I just ha I have fun creating new dunks and just I just have fun dunking. That's uh, the only reason why I do it. And I don't really care that much about dunk contests. Uh, I mostly care about inventing dunks and having fun. I just like to have fun dunking, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I mean, there's some people who are really good dunkers and that can like put up a really good challenge for me and stuff like that. Um, but again, I'm not that worried about it. That's not, that's not where my head is at, that's not where my focus is at. Maybe you can say it you, yourself. Yeah, myself. Yeah. I Like I will always be my own competition, you know? Like that. that's pretty much it. Okay. He's saying you have done the both hand reverse elbow dunk before. Is that right? Oh, the crown like this? 
Yeah, can you still do that? Of course. Okay, you know, at the difficulty level, is it supposed to be very hard or it's、uh, just、uh, nothing for you? And hard in general for people, sure, but because I know how to do it, like I know what to focus on, I can do it. If I'm jumping good, I can do it almost every time, like pretty much every time. Every time, huh? Like、uh, same as layup, you can just make it. <laughs> it's harder than a layup, that's for sure. Okay. But、uh, yeah, no, it's not. If I just practice a couple times, then I can pretty much do it every time. Like it's not,、uh, it's not that difficult. Okay. Alright. So, what is your most favorite dunks that you've done? Make it top three.、Uh, first one is Reverse 360 Scorpion. Reverse 360 Scorpion, okay.、Um, and then maybe the Lost and Found. And then a dunk that I did recently that I can't tell you. Oh, so you haven't uploaded it yet? Nope. Okay. I, I did it like a week ago and it, it'll come out soon. But、okay. I, I, I love this one. So, we're gonna be looking forward to it then. Yeah. Uh, oh, what is your standing reach with the shoes by putting your hands up?、Uh, measured actually just like a few days ago, and it was、uh, seven, nine and a half. Seven, nine and a half. Okay. Yeah, I have a small reach for him. Stupid. All right.、Uh, regarding Bean s c a r t e r he's done so many cool and then crazy dunks during the game, right? When he was in the prime. Do you think you can do all those dunks he's performed during the game back then? No, I can't even run for five minutes. I'm too out of shape for that. <laughs> I'm in dunking shape. I'm not in running shape. <laughs> Give me a two minute break and then I'll do, then let me go dunk. But if you have me running up and down the court and then ask me to go dunk, I won't jump at all. I'll jump terrible. So, yeah, no, that's why people who can jump that high and run that much, with all that endurance is really bad for your hops. The fact they can jump that high even after they run that much, that's crazy. I mean,、uh, they're freaks, you know, that's crazy. If the bean scarter only trains for dunking, jumping, that'd be crazy, huh? He'd be the best dunker of all time. I would, he would kill me. <laughs> <Yeah> . It <laughs> wouldn't even be close. Okay. All right, so you watch NBA, right? No. Do you,、oh, you don't? No. Okay. So no. You, you, you just mentioned、uh, you like the Vince Carter, but、uh, he just retired, right?、So、only the current players, you know, who play, whoever plays right now. Is there any dunkers you think he's good? Yeah. I mean, there's the other three that I mentioned before, so that could be Aaron Gordon and Derek Jones. Yeah, besides them,、uh, maybe. Oh, besides them, then Dennis Smith. Dennis Smith is Dennis Smith. amazing. Yeah, yeah, Dennis Smith. All right.、Uh, Zach r a b i n you know, he has done the 360 from free throw line. Do you think you can do that? I'm not a one foot jumper. No, absolutely not. Yeah, I was. I noticed、that's、that when I was reading the questions. Even, even for a one foot jumper, like that's. I don't think anybody else in the world can do that. I don't think only Zach l e v i n e Only Zach l e v i n e huh?、Okay. If I go jump off two feet, then I can 360 with my back foot up on the free throw line, but my front foot is way in front. So,、yeah. okay. Out of those NBA dunk contests each year, which year was your most favorite dunk contest? 2016. 2016? What is the number two? I probably have to pick. One of the years that Jason Richardson was in. Or we can just say 1988. Oh, wait, wait, 1988 wait, wait, with Michael Jordan. Yeah, that's right.、Oh, okay. yeah. What do you think, which muscle is the most important in order to jump higher? This question, man. I get it though. I used to ask that question all the time too. You want to know what's the most important one? So you can just work on that one thing a lot. And it's like, it's, it's, it's so much of a full body movement. There isn't that many that sound more important than others. And it's just like, let's just say quads, but I don't think that's the right answer either. But it's just, it's such a, a connected whole body movement. It's how you can't, it's hard to say one x one thing. But、so、I can tell you the answer is definitely not calves. <laughs> not calves. Yeah, I see. Some people think you play volleyball too, but do you actually play volleyball? I used to. Volleyball is my favorite sport when I was younger. Volleyball and then it was basketball. And so, yeah, I love volleyball. I would love to play some more、uh, later on. But、uh, do I play now? No, I don't play any sport. I don't, I don't do anything that's not dunking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretty much. Only dunking. What basketball shoes do you wear when you go for dunking? 
I uh, usually wear the LeBron 10s all the time, but uh, now I've been wearing uh, the Q4 shoes a lot. Q4 so, shoes? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a new basketball brand. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it actually did not So, these shoes right here. Oh, I, is it good? Or, yeah, it's pretty decent. That's that's what I've been wearing a lot in my videos and stuff like that too. And uh, I mean, but I also gonna be doing some some stuff with them in the future. So you like it better than LeBron Ten? Uh, no, I wouldn't say I like it better. Uh, LeBron Ten, I think ten pairs of LeBron Tens because I don't like them much. I see. Yeah. If you can choose to participate any dunk contest ever in the history that you know any year which dunk contest do you like to participate like compete against you know it's weird for me to answer because i don't think dunk contests are that cool but i think it's not that they're not cool it's that they're i don't know i think it i think what a better question what a more fun question for me to answer is which uh dunk contest participants would i like to have uh, a dunk session with so like what year you know so let's say Let's say if I did a dunk session with Dominique Wilkins and Michael Jordan, like 1988, and I just because if they see my creativity, right, it'll make them think and then try stuff too. So I would love to see Michael Jordan and those guys trying like a scorpion dunk or trying like you know trying crazy stuff like that. That'd be awesome. But what year? I guess I'd have to say 2016. You know, it'd be awesome to go against those old guys. With their doing crazy dunks like that. So, okay. With that, maybe I came up with a new question. Which basketball player, if you can train and teach a new dunks, only one player, which one would you pick to? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, it's going to have to be Vince Carter for sure. Other good ones, fun ones to train would be uh, Jail Green would be really cool to train. Michael Jordan actually would be the coolest to train because he would get more obsessed than anybody else. He would work harder than anybody else and he would probably do the most dunks. Like, he, if I told him how to do stuff, he would listen and like improve the most out of anybody because he's, you know, crazy. Yeah, you've been a dunk trainer for those dunk contests a couple years ago last year, no? Yeah, just one year where like I gave a bit of advice for a couple of dunks. Uh, it wasn't anything too crazy, you know, I helped DeAndre Jordan a little bit, Aaron Gordon like with one dunk, which he didn't even end up doing because he got knocked out early. But uh, yeah, watching those guys, that's what made me realize like how us as professional dunkers were like, we're not that great. <laughs> Because I just see Aaron Gordon warming up and he does like three 360 under both legs first try. I'm just like, what the heck, man? I'm like, I've done it one time and it like barely went in. I'm like, that's such a hard dunk and they just do it no problem. I'm like, this is crazy. What do you think? Is just uh, their genetics or like, you know, fast twitch muscle is too crazy? Or what do you think? The, how can they? Well, obviously, they're really tall. Obviously, you know, they have big hands and stuff like that. But uh, uh, yeah, it's just genetics, you know, the, the genetics are really crazy. And I mean, they obviously work really hard, but the fact that they do that much endurance training and then still jump that high, it's kind of crazy. Okay. Oh, here you go. Do you think Japanese girls are cute? I have a girlfriend, man. You can't ask me that. <laughs> but personally, you know, like, people have a, have a preference, right? You know, like, some people like uh, black people, Caucasian, Asian people, you know. I'm okay with Japanese people. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know you have a girlfriend though. Yeah, I got a girlfriend. Yeah. How long have you been dating for? Like ten months. Oh, ten months. Okay. Oh, you just met her? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I kind of knew of her. Like we went to the same school, but she was a different grade. And then uh, ended up, I was in Europe and she was in Portugal. And then we, had, I, we were talking a little bit, and I just went to visit her in Portugal. And we had never hung out before that, and we just hung out in Portugal for like a week. And then that's how we first started, yeah. like met and stuff like that. Nice, 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 cool. Yeah. Um, do you have any uh, favorite actor or actress, like you know, in the movies and stuff? You know. Uh, Keith Ledger when he did the Joker in the Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah, he was amazing. That was crazy. What about actress? Uh, actress. Uh, dang, I'm not sure. I watch mostly anime now, so I don't know. But uh. <laughs> uh yeah, I, I can't think of I mean, Angelina Jolie, I guess. Angelina Jolie, okay, okay. That's a cool one. Um, that's all questions, man. Nice, sweet. Yeah, man, I was surprised, you know, those Japanese folks are getting interested in you. And uh, yeah, I hope this video is gonna spread the dunking also yourself and then, uh, you know, because most Japanese folk doesn't know about that, you know, how fun it is and how exciting it is, so. Yeah, and dunking is the funnest thing and the coolest thing ever to me. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it helps the dunking culture in Japan a little bit. And uh, yeah, hopefully 
we can invite you over over there one day and then do some event and then yeah that'd be awesome okay. at the end can you if you can give them a message so for those kids who are trying to jump higher like you you know like working on their vertical jump um if i'm gonna case there's so many things that go into jumping higher but the main thing is to be consistent and to be consistent with something you either have to be disciplined or you have to have fun doing it right you have to have find a way to make it fun so to me the funnest way was like even you know i would get made fun of sometimes like i'm on the court or i'm at a place i'm only dunking on the low rims or i'm only dunking and people are like why are you doing that you know making fun of me i was like i don't care i'm just having fun do whatever it is that uh let's say if you just want to jump a lot if you have like a small hoop somewhere or if even if you have like the, the ones with the little basketballs that are like this big and like the hoops that are this big you put onto your door and that's what you have fun doing maybe put it hook it onto something higher so that you can you have to jump more and that'll make it more fun to jump uh that's my main thing because then eventually if you fall in love with it and you keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it then you're going to want to start doing research on how to jump higher you're going to start want to and it'll be fun to learn all these things because there's so much to it it's hard for me to give one tip you know so my main tip is to like you know make sure you fall in love with it just have fun so start off just having fun that's it how do I, how do you again right now 28 28 oh okay no I'm man gonna, i'm going to be 33 man this year i'm getting okay <laughs> oh, you so don't look 33 that's so crazy i remember you told me your age before too i remember being shocked too but man yeah it's crazy But anyway, thanks for your time today, man. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me. Talk to you soon. Yeah, sounds good. See you, man. See you, man. Thank you.